Well, good Wednesday to you, church. I'm coming to you from our gathering space in the recently renovated section right here where we used to call it the Connecting Center. I hope you're reading the book of Ruth. As you come toward the second half of the book, those four chapters, you find that Ruth is gleaning in the field of a man named Boaz. One night, Naomi says to Ruth, go to the threshing floor. And there, Boaz is startled. He wakes. And Ruth in response to who is this, says, I am Ruth, your servant. Spread your cloak over your servant, for you are next of kin. It's like a mother bird spreading her wings over the chicks. When some of you are now sheltering in place voluntarily, I wonder what it would feel like for you to feel the loving embrace as you shelter in place. The loving embrace of a God who is still protecting you and caring for you in this difficult time. This story will come to a beautiful end as a son is born to Ruth and Boaz. His name is Obed. He's the father of Jesse, in the, who's the father of David in the lineage of Jesus. And so this Jesus, our Savior and healer, comes into the world through a relatively insignificant person, a Gentile who's come into the land of Judah from her home, land of Moab. How might God use you? Maybe you don't feel like you have something for the healing or the wholeness of another. But in this time, even staying at home, staying in prayer, you'll be a part of God's redemption in this difficult, challenging time. God bless you today. Let us pray. Holy God, Use us as simple as we are, even in our weakness, even in our sheltering at home, for your great purposes in Jesus. Amen. So your staff continues to work. We're preparing a master calendar. And look for an email from Coop, our communications director, that will give the calendar of all the events. We'll continue to have worship online. You can get it from the YouTube channel, or you can simply wait for the email on Sunday morning at 6.30 and watch it online. It'll be about a 30-minute service. After Easter, we'll let you know when we may begin to think about coming back together. But for the next period of time, we'll be away. We hope you'll continue to stay connected. If you want to be more connected, we'll have a Zoom call for anybody in the church, an invitation at 12 o'clock noon every Sunday after you've had a chance to have breakfast and watch the worship at your own time. You can even interact with us on that Zoom call as we respond. And then one last thing, on Zoom, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, your pastors will be organizing a morning prayer time for about a half an hour if you'd like to join us for prayer. We'll keep you updated through the email. Listen, pray, wash your hands, stay at home if you can, but stay connected. And as we unfold over the next several weeks and months, however long this lasts, we'll be a stronger fellowship at University City United Methodist Church. God bless you today.